New video for you here at 11. Hundreds of sharks, as you can see in this water, are swarming as people paddleboard nearby. This was just about an hour ago in Deerfield Beach in Florida. Marine biologists say these sharks are migrating north after going south for the winter. For the last two days, several beaches in Palm Beach County were shut down after thousands of sharks were spotted swimming close to the shoreline. This beach is now closed and will remain closed until a half hour after the last shark is spotted. Returning to that story that's developing for us out of the Vatican, one final cardinal is arriving today, setting the stage for the historic selection of the Catholic Church's next pope. But as ABC's Marcy Gonzalez shows us, it's a process that so far has been full of secrecy and gag orders, even anti-bugging devices. Altogether, at last, the final cardinal expected to arrive at the Vatican today, at which point a date can finally be set for the start of the conclave. It's an apparent point of contention between the cardinals. The Americans reportedly pushing to delay the voting, the Italians vying to begin the conclave soon. It is just one of the topics being discussed in this fourth day of meetings, the details of which are now veiled in secrecy. The Vatican imposing a media blackout after details of discussions about problems within the church were leaked to Italian newspapers. The headlines in those papers now, the curious silences the Americans, you talk too much. Other papers are focusing on reports that more moles from within the Vatican plan to leak more top secret information. This headline reading in part, there are 20 of us and a lot of the truth still must come out. Meanwhile, in the Sistine Chapel, anti-bugging devices are being installed to be sure no details of the election get out. And before the final preparations are completed, these papal cassocks in three different sizes will be delivered, ready for the next pope. So we can see the three measurements for the, uh, the small pope or the middle pope or the middle sized pope or the bigger sized pope. So we have no idea who the pope will be. So it's an exciting time. And while it's still unclear who the true frontrunners are, an Italian magazine now reports that two Americans are being considered viable candidates, New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan and Boston's Cardinal Sean O'Malley. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York. Former Italian Premier Silvio Berlusconi sentenced today to a year in jail as part of a wiretap scandal. Berlusconi was convicted for illegally printing transcripts of wiretapped conversations. They appeared in a newspaper owned by his media empire. The verdict carries no impact on his eligibility to participate in a new government, and he's unlikely to be put behind bars during a possible appeal. The U.N. Security Council is demanding the release of 21 U.N. peacekeepers being held in Syria. They're being held by armed fighters linked to the Syrian opposition. This video that we're showing you was posted online, and it shows men claiming to be Syrian rebels with a U.N. unmarked vehicle, that is. That vehicle, as you can see, is plainly marked for the United Nations. The peacekeepers from the Philippines had been monitoring the ceasefire line between Syria and Israel. A big cat sanctuary investigating, is investigating safety protocols this morning after an African lion mauled and killed an intern. 24-year-old Diana Hansen was inside a cage with the 350-pound lion when it attacked her. Police arrived on the scene and killed the animal, and Hansen died before she could be taken to the hospital. Now, the sanctuary is not releasing details of why Hansen was in that cage or if she was alone. There must have been somebody somewhere that had to see this because no one would go in with a full-grown lion by themselves no matter what the attitude of the lion is. The sanctuary did have the necessary permission to operate. Hansen's father says his daughter died doing what she loved and that gives him comfort.